Hello and welcome back friends. In today's episode, we are going to learn how we can grow sugarcane plant at our home. And I will show you the experiment whether you can convert a single sprout of a sugarcane into a complete boost or not. Just watch till the end to know the complete result. Just take one branch of the sugarcane. This sugarcane is almost ready to be harvested. You can see here it has grown a good node over here and also the root system has also developed by this sugarcane. Similarly you can take any of the sugarcane, no worries for that, you can just start your project. Here also you can see the root has also developed and the node is also there. But uh, you don't have to worry if you cannot see this much long roots and node in any of the sugarcane. Just you can collect any sugarcane branch from your home or from a local grocery store and start your project. Here I cut one of the branch of the sugarcane and you can see I am just cutting from the center of the sugarcane so that the node is not disturbed. Just make 2-3 node in each of the cuttings so that you can you will have later on good spacing to grow the sugarcane. So now I have made around 5 to 10 piece of this sugarcane and here I have brought it my room and you can see the nodes over here and it does not have any roots or anything so I will show you how you can grow roots in your room or how you can plant them okay just cut the sugarcane by preserving its node and dip it in the water like this and rest of the sugarcane make a roll like this so that the sugar can can be dipped inside this mud and put the sugar can in horizontal position and cover the sugar can with the mud like this and you don't have to do anything the soil should have good drainage and all you need to do is just water it sometime and remove the weed so water them and just leave them like that so here those two of the nodes which I have dipped in the water after two weeks you can see they have grown good roots and the node is also mm, growing in a good way similarly taking another one it has not grown that much of roots but the node is growing in a good way so I leave it like that after 22 days you can see that prominent number of roots are very visible and the node has grown into a big shoot and you can see the shoot is also healthy and the sugarcane is also healthy so here now i am going to transplant that sugarcane in the plastic bag full with mud in it just deep in the mud and cover with the soil from all sides just like this and you don't have to do anything just water it and, and leave it like that for uh, the rest of the growth and another branch of the sugarcane it just uh, planted in the ground uh, like a normal sugarcane and but here uh, you should keep the bud of the sugarcane in the upward direction so that the growth will be good after 45 days you can see i have planted the sugarcane at three spots and and here all the three spots has grown very nice shoot and the sugar candy is quite healthy little bit of weed has grown you have to remove the weed for the better growth of the plant and rest of the business is done by the sugar candy cell. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to add any fertilizer or anything. Just leave it like that, removing the weed and it will grow on it all. After 55 days, you can see prominent number of leaves are visible. The shoot is healthy and here also you can see number of leaves has grown and similarly this other sugarcane shoot is also very healthy so all of the three spot has grown a very healthy sugarcane till now similarly checking the sugarcane that has been planted in the back you can see that this sugarcane has developed new sprouts my experiment is successful that means from a single sprouted sugarcane you can get multiple number of sprouts in future also so with just a single sprout of sugarcane you can just start your whole new chapter of sugarcanes similarly after 85 days you can see those small sprout has converted into bigger sprouts and the sugarcane single bird sugarcane is also doing very great inside this plastic bag as well you can just grow it in a plastic bag without any problem so here after 90 days you can see those three spots the sugarcane has grown very nice they have grown very long leaves and all you need to 
do is as i told you earlier you have to remove the weed and keep them away from the weed so that the sugar cane new sprouts can grow very easily so similarly now you cannot make a good sugar cane in the plastic bag therefore now transplant that sugar cane into the ground for the better growth of the sugar cane and better yield of sugar cane the single sprouted shoot now is being transplanted in the ground remove the plastic bag fill the sugar cane from all direction with the soil like this and uh, you can water it this is my friend sunil helping me with my stuff thank you sunil so here you can see that after 150 days the, those three sugar cane plant has merged themselves and they have converted into one big sugar cane bush here you can see all of the sugar cane has merged into one and you can see the big clump of the sugar canes you can see the prominent sugar cane sticks can be seen they are quite healthy and they have reached up to 5 feet of height and i'm really happy with my sugar canes you can see the good leaves the healthy plant over here you can see here they have grown in a very beautiful way there are number of young sprouts if you remove the weed the new sprouts get chance to grow and they will turn into bigger bush and you can get number of sugar canes similarly let's check another single sprouted sugar cane here you can see that that single sprouted sugar cane which we have transplanted from the plastic bag has also grown number of new shoots you can see it has also turned into a healthy plant and the sugar cane is really good over here too also the leaves are very healthy you can see the branch of the sugar cane is also quite good and you can see number of sprouts over here so here this sugar cane is also doing really fantastic so friends in this way you can grow a sugar cane plant at your home in a very easy way if you want to grow in a commercial way please visit my website learnagro.com the detail of the website is written in the description so friends if you have any queries please comment below i hope you like my video please do share it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos thank you and see you again